Hello everyone. Hope everyone is okay. My name is Kainda Osama. Uh V3 of Royal Q. Today there's something I want to share with you and I make you understand it. Uh it's called BTC pairs over BTC trading. Uh, well, trading with Bitcoin. Uh I've done this video because I got this idea from one of the ladies I was talking to last time. She told me, I want to hold my Bitcoin, but I, won't, I don't want it to sit down. I would like to use it to trade. Uh -huh. So, and I told her, it's very possible. When you are trading with your robot, you can order it to use your Bitcoin in holding as you are trading it. Actually, it's on your benefit. I'm going to explain this. Let me give you an example. Let's assume you have a shop. Our today's topic is uh, BTC payers. Okay? Uh, it's like you are having a shop and you are selling phones. But you are like, for me, I sell my phones in dollars. For example, US dollars. What does this benefit you? This benefits you in this way, that sometimes your phones are bought at a higher price because of a dollar rate. And sometimes your capital increases because of a dollar rate. You get my point. But however, there is a possibility that at a certain point, your phones could be bought at a cheaper price because of the dollar rate in case it goes down. Mm -hmm. Actually, people who benefit more in this, here in my country in Kampala, some of the landlords in the city center, they only accept rent, rent fees in dollars, US dollars. These guys are very clever. Because sometimes you might find out that the money you paid last month, this month it is more because of the dollar rate went high. And I'm pretty sure by the time you pay these guys that money, they go and run and exchange it to the local currency because of the, at their benefit. You get my point. Now, I want you to be as clever as that businessman. When you are trading, let me give you an example. Let's assume, I'm going to use examples of Uganda, Ugandan currency. Let's assume you have 7 million Ugandan shillings and you want to and you want to use this money to hold bitcoin okay you are like i want to use my 7m and i hold my bitcoin because the bull run is coming next year and 2025 and you know what's happened what happens in the bull run let me tell you something last day 2021 it was the last bull run bitcoin went from 20000 to 69,000 in November. I want you to imagine in just a period of one year, the currency grow like it went up 40,000, 49,000 in price. So if someone out there understood the concept of crypto, instead of keeping their money in the bank, they decided, let me buy Bitcoins. At 20,000, let me buy three of them at 60,000. That means by the end of the year, they had made almost 14 almost 140,000 in profits can you imagine can you imagine <laughs> so now hey my friend you are holding i want to give you a trick as you are holding your bitcoin you can use it to trade it will increase in quantity i'm going to give i'm going to show it to you technically now with my 7 millions let's go on a calculator mm. I have my 7 million shillings. Uh, when I divide it into the dollar rate in Uganda, I get 1,881. $1 dollars. So I use this money to buy Bitcoin. Okay? So let me divide. The price of Bitcoin currently is at 27,000. So that means I get a quantity of 0 0.069 Bitcoins 
0.069 bitcoins. Now this is the bitcoin I'm holding. So I'm waiting in the bull run when bitcoin goes up instead of $18,000 I had invested, maybe I will be having 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 as profits. Now, I want you to know this. When you are holding the quantity of the of the coin you we are holding doesn't increase what increases the price the value okay now i'm bringing in trading so when you decided to do btc pairs and you decided to use your bitcoin to trade other currencies for example you decide like let me trade xrp stroke btc now you are using your bitcoin to trade just like the first example I gave you, you are using Bitcoin to trade phones. Okay, you are using dollars to buy phones and you are telling your customers, I only sell my phones in dollars. So it's on your benefit. Okay, in case we are heading in December uh, and in December here in Uganda, in most cases, the dollar rate goes high because of the tourists, because of the people coming in, because of the festival seasons, people are coming from other countries, flowing into the country to come and, and gather with their families because they are coming with dollars. So the dollars, you get my point. So now, look here. XRP, stock BTC. Now, you are using your BTC to a 0 0.069. You are using this to trade XRP. So, you are buying XRP with your Bitcoin. When XRP, for example, you can tell your robot that when XRP goes 2% up, sell it in profit. Now, when it sells it, remember it is selling it in Bitcoin. It sells it in Bitcoin and brings back in, with the profits. So, that means the 0 0.069, one day it will become 0 0.070, it will become 0 0.0. 80, it will go up to 0 0.01 someday. You never know, you can even hit a, a, a Bitcoin full of it. A full Bitcoin. How did you do that? By using your holdings for trading. Let me go to Binance. Binance is the largest crypto exchanger in the world. Uh, you can go and research about it. It has billions of people's money there. It deposited on this platform. Now look here. This is Binance. When you tap markets here, then you tap market there up, there are different markets on it. We have USDT. Most of the people trade with USDT because they understand dollars more. You know, it's like, it's like opening up a shop and you're selling your clothes in gold. Few people understand how to, to evaluate gold with your clothes. Get the point. I want to imagine you are telling your customer, hey, that gin is, is worth a... Uh, 0 0.1 ounces of gold. Someone's like, how? What are you talking about? <laughs> so many people understand dollars at least. Uh, there are markets of FDUSD, TUSD, BUSD. All oh, these are uh, dollars, of course. Then there is BNB market. Then there is this one, Bitcoin market. So you tap BTC. So they are going to show you all the trades stroking BTC. All the trades stroking BTC. Yeah? So these trades are stroking Bitcoin. You get my point. Now let's go to our Royal Q. Remember our robot trades on your Binance account. So when you go to the robot, the robot has only three markets. USDT, which is the most used, BTC and Ethereum. Today we are looking at BTC market. So you tap BTC. So BTC has six trades. You know, in our previous learnings, I told you that the robot didn't put all coins on this app from Binance. It only put coins, it was pretty sure that they can make profit for someone and never make losses. Okay? So it put six trades, BTC, ADA, BNB, Ethereum, Link, LTC, XRP. Uh -huh. So you can decide. You tell your robot, I want you to buy ADA. Keep buying and selling it, buy and selling it. Actually, I advise such trades to be in a cycle. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. 
Okay? Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Keep doing that. Okay? Keep buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. Now, this helps you to increase your quantity of Bitcoin. So this is, uh, um, this is uh, how can I say it? Like this is favoring a holder. You are holding your Bitcoin, but you are increasing its quantity. Eh? You are increasing its quantity. Because the robot is making profits for you in bitcoins, hence bringing you more quantity of bitcoins. So you never know by the end of next year, you'll be having more bitcoins than your previous ones you had bought. Okay? So I think this is understandable and uh, we have learned it. So my advice is if you want to hold bitcoin, hold it as you are trading with it. Okay? You might decide that I'm trading with 10 million Ugandan shillings. Let me get on the 3M. I put it in holding, but don't put it in sleeping holding. Ah, uh -huh. you, you put it in active holding. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Okay? Keep buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. Hence, increasing your quantity of Bitcoin. Thank you so much for following. If you have questions, you can type in your question there in the comment section or you can inbox us on our channel. Have a great day.